Hey everyone, this is Levi with Between Two Lines. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm in Phoenix today. I wanted to put together a video on the supplies you use when you first get diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Uh, if you've been diabetic for a while, these are things you may have graduated on from to, to things like insulin pumps or continuous glucose monitors. But when we get diagnosed, we all typically start with the same cluster of supplies or tools. And I want to touch on those today. That way, if you're a new diabetic, you get a little bit of a crash course on it. And if you're an old head, then you get a little bit of jog memory, maybe remember what it was like when you were first diagnosed. When you first get diagnosed with type one diabetes, it's, there's a lot going on. Emotionally, there's a lot going on. Physically, you're making the adjustment to having to do the job of your pancreas. But once the dust settles, you're left with some tools to manage your type one diabetes. So today is a lucky day for you guys. I'm gonna let you see inside my Dexcom Warrior Gear bag. Inside this bag are the tools that a new type 1 diabetic will have to use to manage their diabetes. The first thing is their tester, the glucometer with the, the meter you test your blood sugar with. But you remember a phrase if you're a new diabetic, you can't improve what you don't measure. Use this to measure your blood sugar constantly, more than I even ask you to. The more you do, the more you'll be able to hone in the correct amounts of insulin and it'll make your life easier, faster. I will say, these meters are a lot like razor blades. Sometimes you get some really cheap uh, handles and then the blades are so expensive you can hardly replace them. Sometimes you spend a bunch of money on the handle and the blades aren't too bad. It may be a surprise to you to know that I naturally have beautiful, long flowing, long blonde mane of hair. But my wife, my friends are all like, Levi, you look so good bald. So I shave it. Razor blades are a lot like these meters. Do your research, figure out there's one that you like, but then make sure the test strips work well with your insurance so that you're not spending an arm and a leg to put the test strips in the meter that you selected. The second thing in my special bag here is your insulin. There's a couple methods for delivering insulin. When I was first diagnosed, you had to draw it up in a syringe and, and from a vial and keep this glass vial and try not to break it. Now, you'll probably be given one of these. A disposable insulin pen. There's a couple brands. This particular one is Novolog, but the Humalog makes it as well. It's your fast acting insulin. It'll allow you to dial up the number of units you need and make your injection. When the syringe is depleted and all of it's gone, you discard it. You get a, a box of these and you use them until they're gone. The same thing will take place with the long acting. You'll probably be prescribed long acting insulin. For me, it's Lantus. Same kind of disposable pen, syringe full of the insulin. You'll dial up the correct amount inject when it's empty you discard the third thing you'll use is some kind of fast acting sugar to bring your blood sugar up you got to test your blood sugar with your meter then you got to give the insulin to bring your blood sugar down into range but sometimes you overshoot it or physical exertion brings down you need to get it up and you need to get it up fast glucose tablets uh, there's some kind of glucose gummies that are good too um, you want to keep those everywhere you're going to burn through them stock them everywhere your room your car your house work everywhere you can think of stash those stash them and the reason you want to stash, I'll tell you why I like glucose tablets. I like using glucose tablets because I hate the way they taste. So I don't eat them. If I put candy I enjoyed everywhere for my emergencies, I just end up gobbling it all up. So glucose tablets or those gummies, stash them everywhere. Because the last thing you need is to start going catastrophically low at work or at school or at uh, some place where you don't have access to food. And it turned into an emergency. Stock them everywhere. Make them redundant. Have them everywhere you can. These things will make up the bulk of what you do as a type one diabetic in those first weeks and months. The doctor's gonna ask you to do the basics first. You gotta learn how to walk before you can run. So you're gonna be given these tools to manage your type one diabetes with. Keep in mind, you can improve what you don't measure. So test your blood sugar constantly and then use that to calibrate the amount of insulin giving both for your food and for how you're treating your blood sugar when it's too high. Doing these things will make your life a lot easier, a lot faster. And once you master the basics, a lot of doors open up. There's things available to you like continuous glucose monitors, which test your blood sugar every four or five minutes, all day, all night, for 10 days straight, sometimes more. There's also insulin pumps that will deliver your insulin automatically through something you wear on your body. Um, it will get better, but first you've got to master the basics. I'm sure people who've been diagnosed for some time will chip in on the comments and, and reiterate some of the things I'm saying but you can do this. You can do this. My name's Levi, this is Between Two Lines. Okay, so, I'm done working for the day. I'm getting ready to make another episode of Between Two Lines. And shout out to my beautiful wife. It's like, hey, you should find a cute spot to do the video with a scenic overview. So, here I am climbing this stinking mountain. Was not prepared for this. 
everybody else out here is in hiking boots and riding mountain bikes. Here I am in a collared shirt. Everybody's looking at me like my cheese has slid straight off my cracker, but here we are. So stay tuned.